Aquarius, I hope you enjoyed your speed shuffle. Welcome to the channel. Let's jump into this reading. Hummingbird spirit, joy. So Aquarius, right now you're in a very, very joyful time of your life. We have rainbow waterfall. Miracles have happened. Some sort of wish that you've made is now transforming and coming true. So it is going to impact your love life. Forest Temple Enlightenment is raining down upon you, Aquarius. So now this is your person, their thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions. Their overall energy right now, while you're going through a period of transformation, is the Two of Swords. Your person is very stressed out. So the energy coming into the reading speaks of a stressful time in terms of how your person is looking at things. When they view you, when they think of you, they feel as though they need to make a decision. Now it's interesting because I see judgment, which is releasing a relationship, letting somebody go. Their thought is that they might have to let you go because you are accepting a new job in which you are throwing caution to the winds. That's how I'm reading this with all this energy. It looks like in their heart space, they love you very, very much. The Ten of Coins is all about build, building a legacy relationship. It is a marriage card. It is one where you build a foundation. You have children. You have dogs. You have a beautiful home. You're very much in very top communication. Your person really loves you. It looks as though your person feels very passionate about you. They want to travel to see you. They want, there's a lot of communication in their heart space. Their heart is beating very strongly for this relationship. The infinity symbol says that they don't want to let you go. But when we get that judgment card, they're getting news from you, it looks like, that they're not necessarily enjoying. We get the infinity symbol. We see a person who wants to be with you forever. They're very dedicated in their heart space. That's Leo energy. That is virtually the sign of romance, love, relationship in which they feel very tied to you. They love you, love you, love you, feel passionate, and want to have a, a whole family life and history with you. In terms of their intentions, they have to keep their wishes to themselves. I feel as though they are intending to give to the relationship. Interestingly enough, they're going to make an offer that may include a marriage proposal because the Hierophant is a very traditional relationship and so is the uh, Ten of Pentacles. But they feel very nervous right now. They're not liking sort of the way things are unfolding because in their actions, they feel as though something has come out of the blue that's totally upset the apple cart. Whatever their expectations of in love with you are being very, they're being very shocked. This is a tower card. Their expectations are falling. They're feeling very much like they want to be in control. They're scrapping for, you know, an audience with you. They want to have some say, or they even possibly want to manipulate a decision that you may be making about letting go of them, or at the very minimum, totally upending your lives as you've known it together um, to take advantage of an opportunity. So when we get the devil card, that is toxic energy. So that is their action, is to do something very unexpected. When we look at what they're thinking about, they're thinking about making a love offer. And look at this, they want to throw caution to the winds. They want to be very, they want to make a very passionate plea with you to have a life together. The star card is hopes and dreams for love coming true. Aquarius, this is your card. In the Major Arcana, the star card is your card. So they see you looking at your dreams, manifesting your dreams. You know, we see this energy that miracles have happened, that, you know, you're in this joyful stage of your life, that you have grown in wisdom, and that you really know you're enlightened now, which is what the star card is. So your person feels as though they have to rush to catch up with you. 
very interesting reading, not a normal kind of reading. So I'm seeing something extraordinary. With miracles here, we see something extraordinary happening in this love relationship. To you though, Aquarius, so I don't know what you're up to, but it looks like you're on a path to great success and your person is seems to be very worried that you might release them or let them go. They are they don't want it. They will hold on with that devil energy like crazy. Okay. So why is it you have swoops a daisy? Lots of cards on the floor. All right. Oh, that hasn't happened in a little bit here. So be right back. Hold on. All right, so I'm going to just give you a quick rundown on this because those leapt out of my hands. And what we see is this person's feeling in this very devilish energy. They feel really compelled to do something that could be deemed negative to the relationship. Great strength is what they feel. Again, you're the star, the star card, the ace of cups, new love. They want to make things work. The temperance card, the queen of swords, they feel as though you're making a head over heart decision. Judgment card, again, they think that you could be releasing them. The world card, you could be closing out a whole cycle with this person. They feel very much left in the cold. They see this card of pleasure, which is the six of cups. They definitely want to stay with you. The chariot card, they're going to chase you. Even And here I get the death card and the three of swords. Now, the three of swords can be a job. You know, it can be anything that comes between you and another person. And we see the death card. Your person feels as though they don't have a choice here. So we're going to go ahead and clarify. That is That really verifies what I read here. And those cards popped out all over the floor, as you could see. Well, you couldn't see the floor, but... Okay, so why is the Two of Swords here? I'm going to try not to let these fall on the floor. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the Two of Swords is the Wheel of Fortune. They do not want to deal with something that they could see coming, but they weren't sure it would ever happen, or they didn't think it would happen yet. And now they have to deal with the reality that you're having good luck in a way that they did not anticipate. So let's see, why is judgment here? Why is your person thinking that you're going to release them or that they're going to have to be released? Success unfulfilled. Wow, seven of coins. So Aquarius, I feel as though your person is thinking that maybe they did not give you enough in the relationship that you might not deem them to be a worthy person that they you might not deem them to be worthy of where you're at in your life the eight of coins why is the eight of coins here for how your person thinks about you strife conflict as you pursue your goals your financial goals you're invested at a level eight they're invested at a level level seven and that's really not that's not floating your boat here I'm getting your person feels very much that the two of you are in some sort of an ego-driven um, battle, argument, strife. Throwing caution to the winds, dominion. Your person wants you to at least consider them. Your person wants to feel as though they're more important, but they're not sure that they think that you are looking at them as very important to the way they make decisions in their life. Why do we have the Ten of Coins here? We have the Tower card. Whoa, so your person sees you as someone in their heart space. They have all this love for you. They have all this love. And now they always felt that they could control you. Because when we look at the Tower card here, they felt as though they know for a fact that they have not invested enough. Seven of Coins, you're at the Eight of Coins. This is a Ten of Coins. In their heart space, they want to invest more, but they may not have the chance. The Tower card is coming in here, and the Tower card is here with this toxic energy. So they feel very helpless in this situation. The Eight of Wands, the Ace of Wands, throwing caution to the winds for a new adventure. 
I want to see why else though? Why else does this person feel that? Why is a tower card here? The chariot card. Oh, this person is not about to let you get away. Now, I don't want to make that sound creepy because it isn't. But it does say, ooh, judgment card fell out again. They are making the decision to follow you, to pursue you. They are making the decision that if you're breaking up to move somewhere else or you're releasing them, Aquarius, they're going to fight for this relationship. So that chariot card speaks to, honey, I'm home, as does the ten of coins card. So the clarifier for the ace of wands and the eight of wands, which is nine of wands, which is fire in their belly, we see the world card. They feel as though they may not have a choice. You may just simply go on about your life without them, Aquarius. That is really interesting energy. So, okay, so let's see what we have here. Energies can be vice versa, but I don't think this is. And if they are, please make a comment below. The strength card. Look at your person feels as though they really had a say in your life. Nine of swords. You've turned that upside down. The nine of swords. They are losing sleep over this situation. They're feeling remorse and regret for what they have not given you in the past. They also feel very defensive. So when we look at their intentions with you, they def they plan on defending their, their relationship with you. This person feels as though they're coming in to speak to you. They want to have a very sweet conversation, very soft-spoken. They're trying to get a chance to win your heart again. The Emperor card, they totally plan on winning. The King of the Kings is not going to be someone who's going to walk away easily, Aquarius. The Hermit card, they have... I feel as though... The two of you, in, the, in terms of their intention, I feel as though they always intended to marry you but didn't ask you. And they're looking at how that's impacting the relationship currently. Why else are they intending to ask you to marry them? Temperance card. Again, two cards of temperance saying that they want things to work out with you, that they plan on them working out. That is their, their intention is to make a big offer to you. The Fool card, a fool for love, making an offer that they've never made before, a new beginning. They do not want to have a defeat in love, and they feel as though that is what they are facing right now, is a defeat in love. Okay, so we have more clarifiers here. Let's see what we have. We have the Devil Energy, and we have Material Work. The Three of Coins. So your person is very fearful of who you might meet at work. Somebody who might make an offer to you that's bigger. They're very afraid of you meeting somebody who could be a king of wands energy. Somebody who could be a star. They see you as doing exactly what you've always wanted to do. They see you as building that foundation, following your dreams, hopes and dreams for love coming true for you. But they don't think they're part of it. Loss. Look at that. Five of Cups. They feel as though, you know, in their actions, they feel helpless. They feel they are going to take actions to try to win you back. They have great strength. They have the stamina. They have the passion to do this. They know that you're a very kind, loving person, but they now feel juggled. The hanged man's reverse says that they think you've already made your decision. And that decision is to give up on them. The, King, the Knight of Pentacles reverse says that you're giving up the journey of waiting for them. So Aquarius, oh my goodness, what a different kind of a reading. Didn't expect to see this. Let's go ahead though and look at these energies for you. What is this energy for our beautiful Aquarius? This beautiful miracles energy. What is the energy? In fact, I'm going to use a different deck. I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to use my, um, I'm going to use this deck of Dreaming Way. Okay, the Dreaming Way Tarot. We're going to see what this means. What does this Enlightenment card mean for you, Aquarius? The High Priestess, you have all the knowledge that you need. 
you're very wise, you're very discerning, and it really speaks to the enlightenment. You no longer need to feel as though you have to search or learn. You now are in the energy very much of having had the enlightenment. You know what you need, you know what you want. What is the miracle that's happening for you, Aquarius, at this time? The miracle that's happening. You are having a victory, something that you've really achieved, uh, public acclaim, the star card, whatever you're doing, you're front and center in your career. There is no more worrying for you, no more sleepless nights. You feel joyful, you feel relaxed, you feel rested. What else do we have for this joy card? What is the cause of the joy for Aquarius? Oh, look at this. This is sitting there. Ah, oh, the sun card. Look at that. The happiest card in the deck. What a great clarifier. It fell out unbeknownst to me. And I looked down, picked it up and flipped it over as you just saw. Oh my God. You may be moving someplace sunny, but you are doing something Aquarius and you are not so concerned about love. You feel as though your person has had plenty of time to prove their mettle with you. And right now you are um, unlikely to really get too caught up in making promises about what you're going to do in the future. So I feel as though your person is going through dark night of the soul. Definitely. Aquarius, beautiful reading for you. I congratulate you on whatever is bringing the miracles and the joy into your life. Uh, you're very solid in your decision making. You're being very rational. You're and you're really be, you're very enlightened here. So sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from and tell me if you like the reading. Tell me if you like the format. If you like really knowing this much detail about how somebody thinks, feels, and what they intend and what they will do with you. Thank you so much. Bye bye.